What's going on, everyone? Gun O here, and we are back, back in Michigan to be more specific. So, uh, Idaho was fun, and uh, it was pretty awesome. Made some cool videos out there, made some cool friends, but we are home. And uh, might wonder why I'm all bundled up the way I am. We had a freak snowstorm happen, so uh, it's pretty snowy out there. So, we're back here, and we're back in Michigan, and we're going to be doing cool Michigan things. And uh, at the time of recording this video, deer season opens tomorrow. So, you know what that means. Got to get a new gun, right? Got to get a new gun for deer season. So, I have a new gun. So, we're going to do something a little different today. We're going to do an unboxing video. And uh, hopefully, uh, hopefully it goes well. I mean, seems like it should. I don't know. We'll figure it out. But um, we got uh, something real nifty to show everybody that uh, I got at Litchfield Outdoors out here in my local gun shop. I miss those guys so much when I was gone. I mean, my gun shop that I went to like out in Idaho was okay, but it wasn't like, wasn't Litchfield, you know? It wasn't my people. So, um, so glad to be back. So glad to see those guys. So from now on, I'm gonna start, you know, buying all my stuff from them again. So I'm gonna start uh, giving them little shout outs here and there. They're not paying me or anything like that. No sponsor or anything like that. Maybe, Maybe one, one, day. one day. But as of right now, none of that, none of that's going on. So um, I'm just doing it because I like those guys and I like to help them out and uh, they're my favorite people. So uh, we're gonna go ahead and get into this unboxing video. All right, so here we go. As you can see, we have a Palmetto box. Ooh, Palmetto. So um, my people over at Litchfield Outdoors, they are a Palmetto dealer now. So I can get all my nifty fun things over there. I actually uh, got a lower that I got from them. And I'm not sure what I'm going to do with it. I'm leaning towards a 458 SOCOM build. So, you know, if you have any ideas, let me know. Anyways, let's open the box. This guy right here, I don't know if you can really tell or see because I guess that foam's kind of in the way. So let's just take everything out of the box real quick here. We have a 450 Bushmaster pistol. That's what you get. That's what comes in the box. Right there. Now, uh, comes with this here five round magazine because we live in Michigan. It's got that limiter in it and you can't have more than five rounds in there. So you got to have that little guy in there. I mean, you can take it out if you're doing other stuff, but if you're hunting here in Michigan, you got to have that five round limiter in there. So you can only have five rounds in that thing. But it comes with that, comes with a super awesome upper right here. This thing right here is super cool, especially, especially that muzzle brake on the end of that thing. Cause this is only a 10 inch barrel on this guy. Um, it did not come with that optic. I had the optic separate and, uh, I had to have, uh, my buddy over there sighted in for me because uh, I did not want to go shoot this and uh, try to sight it in for my hunting stuff on my own. That's because uh, I got this stuff. This here, uh, this black butterfly right here. Stuff's a little on the pricier side, but uh, oh yeah, it's probably like the best you can get on the market for hunt ammo. I mean, here at least. I mean, this and Underwood. I mean, it's a toss up really. But yeah, this stuff right here, this ain't no joke. Like, it's a 160 grain copper jacketed hollow point with a polymer tip. Like uh yeah, that's uh that's a bad boy right there. So, uh picked up some of that black butterfly and that's what I will be hunting with. And hopefully, I'll have some awesome footage for you guys tomorrow when I nail a deer with that. Hopefully, but um, anyways, let's get back to this. Um, so it comes with this cool lower on here. It's just uh, got a standard standard grip on it, but it's a uh, OD green, which is really cool, and that's what really drew me to it. But yeah, it's a Palmetto lower. It's a uh, Palmetto's uh, lower parts kit. But right back here, we have the KAK Shockwave, uh, the Shockwave blade. Gen 2, I believe. I'm pretty sure it's the Gen 2. The Shockwave blade right here uh, by KAK. I call it the, I call them CAC. 
Like, I don't know, it's funny to me. We'll see how it looks all assembled. So yeah, that's the entire thing right there. Like that's the whole gun. That's the AR pistol right there. Like, uh, yeah, I'm a little bit nervous because that black butterfly is gonna be screaming out of there at about uh, 23 to 2800 FPS, or 23, um, 27 to 2800 FPS. And there's not much to this thing. <laughs> it's just got that shockwave blade uh, brace on it. That's it. Yeah, that's the whole gun right there. It's got a bunch of cool features in it. And uh, it's just, uh, it's really lightweight. I love that foregrip on it. It looks cool with the clear magazine too. I like the clear magazine on that. And uh, this just uh, came to them as a kit. And they were like, okay. And they set it out and then I got back into town and I saw it when I walked in and I was like, oh yeah, I gotta have that. I was gonna go with one of the Ruger Americans or the Ruger Ranch or the Ruger Predator, one of the Rugers and 350 Legend, and um, decided on this guy instead because uh, I needed a new pistol lower anyway. So, I mean, got my pistol lower. And then plus I was like, eh, I might as well go with the 450 Bushmaster and they had the 450 Bushmaster pistol. So I had to get it. <laughs> I had to get it. Um, I had to pick up this optic too because uh, one thing about this is right here where the handguard comes in to uh, to the upper receiver, like where the barrel is and things like that. That's like, I don't know what's up with it. It's out of spec or something for some reason Um, because I have a riser that goes all the way across like when I put scopes on my ARs and stuff and it would not sit right. And I probably won't be able to get it on camera, but if you look, it's uh, it's cut funky. So, eh, that was kind of a bad thing. But, uh, I mean, I just got this one piece mount on there now, so that doesn't matter. Like, with that really cool red dot, this is called a Triton. I've never even heard of them or tried them, but uh, they, uh, they were recommended to me and said that it should uh, hold up no problem to the 450 with the recoil and everything like that. So that's pretty cool. It should, uh, it's supposed to hold up to it, I guess. So I put that on there instead because I thought about putting a scope on it, but I don't know, man. Like at that distance and everything, like, mm, I don't know. If being... Being out there at about 100 yards, I'd probably want to scope, but I'm only going to be 50, 75 pushing it, maybe. Like Now, this is going to be good to like 200 yards, no problem with that 10-inch barrel even, especially with that black butterfly ammo. It's going to be good. This is going to be good to at least 200 yards. Like, Well, maybe at the most 200 yards, but um, it'll be good. But I didn't want to put a scope on it because it would kind of also look goofy, and I was like, I don't really like that. So I decided to not put a scope on it, but this thing comes super awesome, super pristine in the box. And um, if you look, hold on, let me grab this. If you look and try to pull this up to the camera, uh, they stake your castle nut in there. So that's cool. It comes already staked, so you don't have to do it yourself. I'm not sure what the deal with this handguard is, like who it's made by i'm assuming it's just palmetto's like own stuff i'm assuming the same thing with the muzzle brake because i wasn't told otherwise so um that's pretty cool but yeah this whole kit i seen it and it comes with uh niftier takedown pins on it they're a wee bit longer and they have little indents in them so you can like really get in there like at it um i'll show you it's empty here Completely empty, nothing in it, no magazine in it or anything. Completely, totally empty. Um, so yeah, I was uh, checking it out and uh, I i don't know if you watched the video on my Delton, but uh, I don't know if anybody watched the video on my Delton, but uh, I like the trigger on this so much better than the trigger on my Delton. It's just so crispy. Like, wow, like I can't believe it. Like. It's so smooth. I love it. I couldn't even tell you what the pull on that probably is. It's not bad at all. It's probably, I'm trying to think of compare it to something else. The pull on that's probably around three pounds. Like I have on my Glock, like on my 17L. Yeah, it's probably right around three pounds, maybe lighter. The pull on that, it's just amazing. 
But um, yeah, it's nothing super fancy. It does have a lot better charging handle, which is pretty cool. I like uh, I like that it's got a better charging handle on it. And uh, I'm gonna have to uh, I don't know. I might replace it though. I might put a bigger one on here because uh, this gun I'm definitely gonna. I'm going to put some upgrades into it. I'm going to probably put a better charging handle. I'm probably going to get, like, a rubberized Magpul OD green grip on it. Just because, like, I don't know. I don't mind the regular plastic ones, but I like something a little bigger, like, because I got bigger hands. So, I mean, but it just comes out of the box great and ready to rock with that magazine and everything. And, uh, no, it doesn't come out of the box with the black butterfly. I'd buy that separate. But, um, definitely check those guys out because, uh, I know here in Michigan, a lot of people are going to be hunting with that black butterfly and they make all different kinds of ammo. But this one came the highest recommended right here. This, uh, this black butterfly screamer. It's, uh, it's, uh, oh, geez. I don't really want to do the math right now. I don't know. It's about 80 grains lighter than everything else on the market. And this is coming in at 160 grain. It's copper and they call it, uh, the Raptor, uh, that style of bullet that's in there. Let me take one out real quick so I can show you again and try to get in camera. Sorry if this video is a little weird. I don't, I'm not exactly sure how I'm going to have my camera set up here. It's uh, different than what it was in Idaho. So uh, it's a little, it's a little weird, but um, yeah, this right here, this, uh, this, geez, focus, come on, focus, 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 focus. There we go. So yeah, this right here, uh, ooh, too close. All right, this right here. This is that what they call their Raptor. It's their 450 Bushmaster Screamer. So uh, this thing is trucking along at anywhere from like 27 to 2800 FPS, which is pretty wild. That's going to be a lot of knockdown power. It's got this really awesome polymer tip on it. And these things right here, these little pedals on here, I don't know if you can see those better. Those hold together. If you watch anything else on YouTube or if you see anything on Instagram or anything, those hold together and they open up amazingly. So uh, this guy right here, whew, I can't wait. But um, that's going to be screaming out of this thing. And I also, uh, I pick up my black butterfly there at Litchfield, which is really cool. And uh, they, uh, they make it in bigger, they make it in bigger packs. So you don't have to get it in the five round packs, but I just got it in the five round pack because I'm not trying to go... Uh, I'm not trying to go take this to the range or anything because uh, it's a little pricey. So yeah, I'll leave links in the description to uh, I'll leave links in the description to Litchfield's Facebook, Litchfield Outdoors Facebook, and um, to uh, Black Butterfly's website, also their Facebook and their Instagram. So you can go ahead and check those guys out. Now, hopefully, we're gonna get a deer with this thing tomorrow. So um, I mean, I don't know really what else to say about it other than the fact that. This thing's wicked and it's making me a little nervous so uh, I'll have to I'll have to let everybody know I'm gonna do a uh, shooting footage with it and everything like that but uh as of right now uh, I haven't I can't get out to the range or anything I haven't uploaded since I've been home because I've been working just like ridiculous insane hours since I've been back so I haven't had time to go out and film or anything like that but I had a little bit of time today but not enough time to go out to the range so I figured I'd at least do this unboxing and be like, hey, you know, I'm still here, still around. Um, we'll talk about this optic later. Uh, you know, I don't have any experience with it right now. Like, I got it, put it on here. I haven't even shot the thing yet. I haven't even shot this whole thing yet. Like, it hasn't been shot or anything. So we'll have to do a separate review on this optic here later so I can let everybody know what's up with it, if it's garbage, if it's good, or, you know, just uh, what's going on with it. So we'll have to do that. And then, um, hmm, I don't know. I'm going to have to... Uh, I have to get my GoPro on here so that way I can have some awesome hunting footage. And then um, I might, uh, you know, if I bag a deer, I might uh, do a video and just, you know, hey, I shot a deer and uh, we'll figure it out. I don't know. We'll, uh, that and I can tie it into uh, my review on the Black Butterfly ammo because I plan on doing a whole separate review on that stuff because, man, that's some wicked stuff. So I'm going to do a separate review on that. And then once I get out and shoot this thing, uh, we'll get into it a little more in depth and how the recoil on it was, how it operated, everything like that. And how, uh, hopefully that shockwave blade on the back of there doesn't just cut my shoulder right off. So hopefully, uh, that turns out good. 
So yeah, just uh, as much as I can right now with the boxing, with the unboxing, just to get some content out there for everyone. So uh, yeah, check out uh, check out Litchfield Outdoors. Definitely great people. Uh, just a uh, you know your standard mom and pop shop, but they're great, super nice people. And definitely check out that Black Butterfly ammunition. It comes highly recommended from a lot of people here because we have to hunt with 450 Bushmaster downstate. Upstate, you can just hunt with whatever you want. It's no problem. But down here. We used to be shotgun only. Well, now we have straight wall cartridge. Uh, rifles are okay. And so uh, we're going to be uh, doing a lot of that with the 450 Bushmaster and then the 350 Legend, 500 Smith & Wesson, um, and a few others. I'll have, to see, uh, I'll have to see what else I can get around for straight wall stuff. I'm not sure. Now, can't do it with a 4570. It's too long. We have uh, overall length restrictions. So anything that you could fit, like like a 4570 or anything like that, you're not allowed to do it. Now, 45 Raptor does fit within that uh, with that length requirement. So I got a buddy of mine that has a 45 Raptor, and we'll check that out maybe if he wants to do like if he wants to do a video with me, guest with me or whatever. We'll see, um, and we'll maybe do a video on his 45 Raptor. But we're gonna. This uh, here end of the season, we're gonna do a lot of uh, we're gonna do a, be doing a lot of hunting stuff this time of year. So it's not gonna be a lot of handguns anymore or anything like that. It's just a little bit of content when I got time, but uh, things should slow down at my work here soon. So uh, that'll be cool, and I'll be able to get out and get some more content out for you guys. So definitely gonna try to hook up with my buddy from Litchfield Outdoors, and uh, we're gonna see if we can do a video on his 45 Raptor. For that straight wall and then um we'll have to find some other straight wall things we can do just to show some michigan stuff here now if i end up going up north to the upper peninsula that's like up here in this part of the state that everybody forgets about because this is here we're down here like up here that's where you can do rifles and things like that a little bit up here too i think from like here up you can do rifles i don't know i'll have to exactly check a map and check out what's up with the zones but up in this area, that's where you're allowed to use rifles. But down here where we are, it's a no-go. So we got to use stuff like this with the straight wall cartridges and things like that. We got a couple other things. I got a lot of stuff lined up. Like, I got a lot of things. And we haven't even cracked into it. I just got this the other day. We have, like, what, two days ago. We haven't even cracked into my whole collection that was here while we were out in Idaho. We got a lot of fun stuff in there. Um... Got a really nifty squirrel gun that I'm going to be restoring, so I'll probably do a video on that too. It's a it's a bolt action shotgun, so uh, we're gonna do maybe like a before and after, maybe a little bit of restoration on that. Show you guys what's up with that, and then um, you know do some footage with it when we get it around and everything like that. I might just for fun might try to skeet shoot with it, see how fast I can rack that bolt and see if I can hit two. We'll have to check it out, but um, that's just been it for the unboxing and everything like that. But uh, check out Litchfield Outdoors. Check out Black Butterfly Ammunition. And uh, we'll talk to you guys again real soon.